for making paper comes from both wood chips and recycled paper. The process is virtually the same either way. It just takes more energy and enzymes to break wood chips down into pulp. The process starts with bales arriving at Rock 10's pulp mill. These are our corrugated bales. They weigh about 1,200 pounds. They're the old boxes that come out of grocery stores, department stores. To turn these old paper products into new ones, the bales must first stew in a cauldron called the hydropulper. This reduces them from a solid into a slurry. Huge blender. I mean, uh, 14 feet across, 12 feet deep. A uh, huge motor on the bottom of this thing. It's a huge blender. That it's just a lot of power and a huge piece of equipment. The pulp breaks down within just 10 minutes, and screens lift all the waste larger than nine one thousandth of an inch. Dirt, tape, sticks, all this stuff that you would see on curbside. He'll clean that out and reject it. With the mix now purified, the excess water is drained, leaving nothing but saturated cellulose pulp. The outer wall of a cellulose particle is smooth. This makes it difficult for the particles to join. So during the refining process, tiny cell parts or fiber in the pulp must become abrasive in order to form bonds tight enough for making paper. Fiber is like a string. It'll take that string and make it hairy. And then when it gets hairy, that makes it bond together again. That's what happens here. Rollers compress the wet slurry between two bands of industrial fabric. As this slurry sandwich moves down the line, the rollers squeeze out the water, leaving just the bonded cellulose fibers. These bonds hold together single sheets of paper stretching over an assembly line that's 1,300 feet long. It'll be rolled up, and those rolls will weigh about 10,000 pounds. That's a lot of paper, and a lot of trees and energy saved. Recycling one ton of paper, you actually save approximately 17 trees, you don't use approximately 380 gallons of oil, and you save 4,000 kilowatts of power and uh, three cubic yards of landfill space. 